Привіт, я Світлана Живіцька. Передача English for Us для тих, хто цікавиться англійською мовою. Вчителі, учні, батьки, you are welcome. Як зробити урок англійської мови сучасним? З досвідом використання новітніх технологій вас познайомить Ганна Дудіч, фіналіст конкурсу Global Teacher Prize. Hello. My name is Hanna Dudic and today I would like to talk with you about using technology in the classroom. Our students uh, usually use smartphones during the breaks and uh, sometimes at the lessons too. While it is natural, they belong to Generation Z, the generation that was born in the era of digital tools. Why don't we use these digital tools for educational purposes? The first tool that I would like to talk with you about is called Plickers. My students enjoy it a lot. Each student gets a card with a special code. On this card there are four sides and, respectfully, four answers. A teacher can create uh, quizzes to check students' understanding on the of the material. And uh, the students uh, give the answers using these uh, cards. The teacher scans students' cards with the help of his smartphone or tablet and uh, gets the understanding of uh, students' level of knowledge. In fact, a Plickers card is a QR code. You can create QR codes yourself uh, and uh, you can code there any type of information you need for your lessons. It can be a text, a video, an audio file, uh, a picture, just anything you need. Your students will use their smartphones or tablets and uh, a specially uh, installed uh, application to scan, to scan these QR codes and to do your task. Quizzes is another formative assessment tool. You can create a quiz yourself or choose one from a great library of resources available online. Uh, students adore playing computer games and uh, they can play individually or together as a group. So they would love using quizzes uh, in class. Or you can also assign a quizzes game as a homework. Virtual reality is a computer-generated world. Our kids love playing computer games and, in fact, they live uh, a big part of their day uh, in the computer-generated virtual world. We can use it for educational purposes as well. Uh, for example, uh, you can use such a tool as Google Expeditions and go on a virtual reality tour. Uh, at the Lessons of English, you can travel, for example, to some landmarks in London. Uh, or you can go to uh, some great museums of Great Britain together with your students without physically leaving your classroom. Neaport is an interactive classroom tool which can turn your uh, usual PowerPoint presentations or Google Slides or PDFs into great uh, interactive uh, educational experience for your students. Also, uh, you can use in Neaport such features as Poll, uh, or uh, open-end questions, or virtual field trips, uh, or draw it tool. Uh, kids can see only the content which the teacher wants them to see. You can either create uh, Neopod presentations yourself, or use uh, already available presentations from the store on the website. Primary school students love to color. Uh, you can use this uh, hobby and uh, you can use the tool which is called Quiver. Quiver uh, is a kind of uh, online tool which provides you uh, the opportunity to combine coloring pages and uh, augmented reality experience. Uh, first you print out uh, wonderful coloring pages for your students, then your students can choose any tool they want to color the pages uh, they can choose uh, colored pencils or felt tip pens or crayons or paints or whatever they want. Uh, after coloring the pages, they scan uh, these pages with the help of their smartphone uh, or tablet and uh, their pre-installed Quiver application and the pages will come alive. Uh, and you will see the augmented reality uh, figures uh, through the uh, camera of your smartphone. Uh, with the help of this program, you can uh, teach your students to differentiate the colors, you can teach simple instructions, uh, you can teach uh, shapes and figures or animals or planets and a lot of other ideas available on the website, Quiver website. 
If we speak about the 21st century classroom and teaching in the fourth industrial revolution, it is important to understand that technology itself will not transform your classroom. But if you use technology to provide your students with new learning opportunities, you will see happy students in a happy classroom. Below, you will find the links to all the tools mentioned in the video. Bye! Technology in the English Classroom – такой была тема нашей передачи. Подписывайтесь на наш канал English for Us.